Last year, I made the RuneScape nuke. I took nine accounts, turned them into the RuneScape equivalent of frag grenades, and yeeted them at helpless level 50s in the wilderness. Needless to say, the level 50s did not survive. They were blown to smithereens, and I was satisfied. For a time. But once you wield power like that, it changes you. You can't just go back to the old way of doing things. So instead, I went back to the drawing board, determined to expand my arsenal. After weeks of painstaking research, I finally discovered nothing was as good as the nuke. I was going to need to settle for less. Thankfully, terrible ideas which probably won't work are my specialty, and I had the perfect candidate. The Chin Chomper Book. Auto retaliate. When you get attacked, your character retaliates. Triggered by an AoE attack, auto retaliate can turn a stack of inactive accounts into a perfectly coordinated army of attackers. The only problem is that they will only retaliate. So how do we take this army and redirect its damage towards a target of our choosing? We give that army their very own AoE attacks. And so the plan was simple. I would make nine accounts, all capable of using Chin Chompers. One of the accounts would stand next to a target, and the rest would stand next to each other with Auto Retaliate enabled. The account stood next to the target would attack the rest, they retaliate, and if the theory holds true, the target is obliterated by eight Chin Chompers in one tick. But all the theorizing in the world could only tell me so much, so I decided to take the plunge and give it a shot. I registered nine new accounts, ran them through Tutorial Island, and membered them up. I also revived an old low-level major of mine because it had over 75 magic, and that was going to come in handy later on. This is my tea beer. It is not perfect, it's unfinished, and it has no members, but if I recall correctly... There we go. <laughs> I have tons of money on this account. And with a high magic level already in the bag, only one other requirement remained. Level 55 ranged for Red Chin Chompers. 55 ranged didn't seem like a very intimidating grind, but doing it 10 times over would be a nightmare. I was going to need an extremely AFK training method so that I could blast through all 10 accounts at the same time. And given the right training spot, cannoning would allow me to do that. There is a spot on the western side of Shazian where you have a bunch of hill giants, then a bunch of rocks, and then a perfect spot for placing a cannon. The rocks completely protect you from the hillies, so you can train up ranged in total safety. The only actions you need to perform are the repairing and refilling of your cannon, and both of those come down to just clicking on the cannon. That makes this spot very safe and very AFK. First things first, I had to complete the dwarf cannon quest, and it was horrible. I had to do it on all 10 accounts at once, and I hated every second of it. I would go into more detail about every annoying part of the quest, but I just want to forget about it. With the quest out of the way, I was free to blast giant balls wherever I wanted. So I took my horde to the training spot on Zaya, found 10 empty worlds, and set the cannons to ball blast mode. At the start of the training, this strategy turned out to be pretty miserable. While the cannon spot was AFK, I was getting levels so fast on all of the accounts that I had to click non-stop. After a few hours, things slowed down to a much more relaxed pace. Eventually, I realized that I could squeeze all of my clients onto the same monitor and tried to sync up the spinning of the cannons to stave off boredom. I do think that when I look back in like 10 years time, this is gonna be the lowest low. Yeah. All in all, it took me about 7 hours to hit 55 ranged. And while that was the only requirement, at some point I had decided to get level 8 prayer. The first ranged prayer would give each account an additional max hit, and I was going to need every last drop of power which I could get my hands on. Okay, so that is all of the accounts finished, every single one, 8 prayer, 55 ranged, which... Ooh, look at that. I, I just want to get one kill with this method and I will be satisfied that it hasn't been a complete failure. Attempt number one. <laughs> what? Why did only one of them hit? 
A great question, why did only one of them hit? Well, after confirming that the strategy is possible in Clan Wars, spending 20 plus minutes arguing with Framed about the possibilities. The others hit the, uh, the ones in the pile. No, because I separated and being so demoralized by the failure of the first attempt that I went off for the night. I'm done for today. I'm escape. The following day, I logged back in and realized exactly what had caused the failure. I just figured out what's happening. Oh. Oh what? my god, I'm so dumb. The accounts were still in single combat. Oh my god. Let's just move on, shall we? Attempt number two. They have already tallied off. Oh my, yes, I got the kill, finally. Yes, it works. It works. With confirmation that the strategy would work and that it was capable of killing people, it was time to see how far I could take it. So I went straight back in for another kill. Crab on one, they fit me. No, they prayed range. Of course they prayed range. Oh, I survived. Oh, I got two hits on him. Oh my God. And that was the moment I realized the true potential of the Chin Chomper Bomb. From the moment I came up with the concept, I had been approaching the Chin Bomb like the RuneScape Nuke, a cheesy way to kill people in one shot. And in that scenario, the Chin Bomb sucked. It could do around 45 damage at best, barely able to one-shot level 50s. However, when I hit that Chin Hunter with two hits in a row, it finally clicked. The Chinchompa Bomb could not just deal 45 damage. If I could find a way to keep my lead account alive and the other accounts continually throwing Chinchompas, it was 45 damage per hit. With this in mind, I started to upgrade my lead account to make it a bit tankier. But there was just one problem. Defense levels were not an option. The AOE damage dealt by Chinchompas is guaranteed to hit if the initial hit on the original target succeeds. So if you throw a Chin Chomper at someone with one defense who is stood next to someone who has 99 defense in a max range tank, that 99 defense and all that defensive gear is totally irrelevant. As long as you hit on the one defense noob, you're gonna hit on the person next to them. Since my lead account is the original target for all of the damage dealt by the Chin Chomper Bomb, if I gained defense levels or improved my defensive bonuses, the damage of the Chinchompa Bomb would fall off a cliff. I needed to stay alive longer while keeping my account a nice, squishy, one defense target. And the most sensible place to start seemed to be prayer. Getting level 40 prayer for protect from missiles would reduce all incoming damage by 40%. So I ran to the Chaos Altar and got straight up to 40 prayer. And in fact, it was so fast to get 40 prayer on my lead account, I decided to get up to 44 prayer for Eagle Eye on all of the others too. The next obvious step was to gain more hit points levels. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time training up the account, so I just did the Witch's House and called it a day. That took me all the way from 13 HP up to 25. Assuming that the damage output of the Chinchompa Bomb was going to be around 45, Having about 25 HP with protect from range would still be calling it a bit close. So I also started to use Anglerfish to boost my initial HP and Phoenix Necklaces to heal me if I got too low. And of course, during the attempts, I would start eating food. And with those changes complete, I was finally ready to try out the Chin K47. <laughs> and they insta-logged. Oh man, that's so annoying. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, come on. Can I get him? I might be able to. Oh my God, that did so much damage. Holy crap. <laughs> that was so close. No luck on the first attempt. But look at that damage. 
I misclicked loads, I wasted tons of time by staff whacking, and I even hit a bunch of zeros which is pretty unlikely. And still you can see just how much of that guy's HP got absolutely shredded by those chin chompers. While I didn't get a kill on this first attempt, it did make me 10 times more confident in the power of the Chinchompa K47. So I decided to up the ante just a little bit. No more upgrades just yet, but I wanted to start targeting PKers. So I relocated to somewhere a bit more convenient for that purpose, the Chaos Altar. And I had a plan. Stack all of the accounts next to the altar, always with their ranged prayer enabled, and then just wait. Rather than hopping around to find PKers, I would just wait until the PKers hopped to me. This had the added benefit of being relaxed, and it meant that none of the accounts would die, so they could stay alive and deal more damage. More relaxed, more damage, more... Uh, oh, oh, f yeah. More of that, too. I mean, that... Oh my god, I might have a guy. I think I got him. He's down, you he's down. Already. But now I'm down too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Not like this. No way. I'm about to get this guy. Oh my god! <laughs> I got him, but his mate's here. Holy oh crap! My gosh. What cow got the loot? Give me that. <gasps> no way! This is perfect! But I've splashed. I have splashed. Go stand under, cross will kill me. Uh, prayers up. He's praying range. No, oh, I'm praying range. Okay, this is it, this is it. Oh my yes. god, he got <laughs> melted. Here, here's what's gonna happen though. I'm gonna go for another. I don't think, oh no, here's the pile, here's the pile. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. Did I get him? I think I got him, I got <laughs> him. Holy crap. So, I'm thinking it worked. In just the first few attempts, I cleanly took care of a level 58 and a level 63 in only a couple of hits and there was no doubt that I would be able to take out players at a higher level as well. In fact, the only time that I actually failed to kill someone was because they were smart enough to throw their prayer up, and that was a very rare thing to see. No way! Dude, I so nearly had him. The upgraded chin bomb was an absolute juggernaut. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh my god, I might be able to get him. I got him! Oh my god, he was like a high level as well, 59. <laughs> okay, this is a clean one. Oh my god, that was so clean. I ended up dying. That was beautiful. This thing had turned out to be far more effective than I had ever thought possible, but there was one last easy thing that I could do to make it even stronger. Black Chin Chompers. I would need level 65 range to use Black Chins, so I went back to Zaya, set my boys to spin mode, and got level 65 ranged. This 7 hour sweat session increased the max hit of each account by 40% taking the Chin Bomb from being lethal to being a war crime to use in combat. However, my poor little lead account was going to need to tank all of this damage, and there was just no way that was going to be possible. Instead, I decided to switch him out for my Bronze Man. My Bronze Guy had over 60 HP, over 40 prayer for protect from missiles, and the range level to use Chin Chompers. It was a perfect candidate, and just like that, I was ready to try it out again. I've got a guy. Finally! Oh, he attacked one of them. Son of a bitch. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he got absolutely deleted. God, level 77, that's almost the max level I could kill. Oh, this is so annoying. Did I get him? I got him. Holy crap. That was unreal. Oh my goodness, here he is. Oh no. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh fuck. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh my days, it worked. <laughs> Let's see, how much loot was that? Oh my god! I can't believe that! At this point I was satisfied. A strategy which I didn't even think would work when I set out to try it had turned into something which practically guaranteed I kill my enemies. By now I had killed numerous pures who were approaching the max combat level of player which I could attack, and not one of them had tanked more than three hits. The Chinchompa bomb was a massive success. And after many, many hours of sitting there waiting for people to show up, I was ready to retire the accounts. All in all, my total loot was around 3.5 mil. Not a lot. Not even enough to buy one bond. And I had used 20. If the Revenant Cave still existed in the same form it did for the RuneScape Nuke, I have no doubt that my kill count would have been far higher, and I might have ended up a bit closer to breaking even. But unfortunately, the number of places where this extravagant strategy can actually flourish is small. Profit was never a possibility. In the end, I was out over 4,000 black chin chompers, 150,000 cannonballs, 20 bonds, and far too many hours of my life. So, was it worth it? No. Not even close. But I'm a f***ing idiot. And I did it anyway. Oh, and if you think this was a stupid waste of time, just wait until you see what I've done for the Nuke 3.